Moving on to foundation and concealer, it's just as important to figure out the foundation that works for your needs. If you have an oilier skin tone, you may choose to have something that is a little bit more sheer and won't cake throughout the day. Or if you're a little drier, you may want a foundation that's more like a tinted moisturizer that hydrates your skin as well as providing beautiful coverage. This really is the prime look for you. Everything else stems from great foundation. You want to make sure that you have that flawless finish on your face because everything else is icing on the cake. Today I'm using a foundation that has medium but buildable coverage and I'm actually using a brush and I like my brush to have a bit of a, a fan to it at the top meaning it's a little bit, it's not tightly packed. It will allow me to apply the foundation to the skin without packing on too much. Sometimes with sponges or our fingers we tend to be a bit more heavy handed with foundation and a brush allows us to just apply that perfect amount and almost give an airbrush finish which I know we all love. And I like to do just small circular motions. Don't be afraid to mix your colors a lot of times. We have one foundation color for the summer and one for the winter but those in between times, meaning fall and spring, we may need to mix those two colors together to achieve the perfect color on our face. The great thing about foundation now is that there are so many to choose from. Technology has changed drastically so that there are amazing different products out there depending on your needs. And to make sure that you get the exact color for your face, always check your foundation along your jawline to make sure that it's a match to your neck as opposed to testing on the hand that I know a lot of people do, but this will give you the accurate color for your needs. I always like to start with foundation because that evens out the whole skin tone and then I go in with concealer. Your concealer color will not necessarily be the same color as your foundation. The coloring around the eye area can tend to be a little bit different than the rest of your face. So you want to color match completely differently than you would on your face. You want to color match directly for underneath the eye. And when I use concealer, I like it to have a bit of a creamy consistency going on, but I like it to dry down, meaning that it's not going to end up in any areas that you may have as far as fine lines. Another way to help with that is making sure where you apply the, the concealer. So when you're applying your concealer, stick more to the inner corners of the eye, because that's where we tend to show most of our darkness or coloring. Again, I like to use a soft brush because that eye area tends to be a little bit more sensitive. And look right up. And you want to try and get it right along the lash line, which is where we tend to be a little pinker, and right at the edge of the corner of the eye. Because concealer tends to be a bit more of a heavier consistency, we try and use a little bit less of it. That's one reason why we like to start with the foundation first, because it tends to be a bit sheer. And then we just go in with concealer in the areas where you really need it, which is usually around the eye, around the edge of the nose, and any spots that you may want to cover. Now you want to set your foundation and your concealer. So find a powder that will give you some coverage if you need it and will really wear well throughout the day. Uh, one of the most popular products right now is something that's in a mineralized because it just sits beautifully on the face without it looking too pressed. So that's one great option. Or you can go with something that really just gives you very little color or coverage, 
but really absorbs excess oils off the surface of the skin. There, again, is a lot of options out there. I like to take a soft brush to apply my powder. And for the first part of the day, when you first put your makeup on, I do prefer the brush application. And then throughout the day, as you need to touch up, you may use the little pad sponge that comes with it. A flawless matte finish.